And last week, we told you about John Hushpuppy Williams, who died from COVID-19 at Bon Secours Maryview Medical Center in Portsmouth. Policy stated that family members were not allowed to be at his side to say goodbye. Yeah, days later, we heard from another family whose loved one died the day before at Maryview. Today on your side, Regina Mobley shares their story tonight. Regina? Well, Tom and Anita, hospitals must adhere to strict standards to protect patients and employees during this deadly pandemic. This often means loved ones dying from COVID-19 are far removed from loved ones when they take that last breath. The Butler family of Portsmouth, Portsmouth was with 74-year-old Garland Butler when he died, but not in a way they could have ever imagined. He was my world my life, the love of my life. Garland Butler was admitted to Bon Secure Maryview Medical Center January 3rd, where he was treated for COVID pneumonia. Because of the pandemic, visitors are not allowed near COVID-19 treatment areas. The hospital sets up Zoom visitations. His condition deteriorated. When he told me that they told him he was going to die, they did that to him twice. They said he was going to die, and he called me crying and wondering, was he going to die? Then on Thursday, January 14th, around 2 p.m., family members were reportedly told to prepare for a Zoom meeting. They called me to have the Zoom set up, and we were on Zoom when he died. The Butler family never requested access to Maryview, but the family of John Hush Puppy Williams did. Williams, also a COVID-19 patient, died one day after Butler died. And the statement to Wavy TV 10 Bond Secure Mary View said it has not allowed COVID-19 positive patients any visitors since the start of the pandemic. The online policy statement reads, we ask that people do not visit our facilities. Exceptions will be considered based on end of life situations. The Williams family is calling for a policy clarification, saying a family visit could have saved Williams' life. It's incongruent with what the original um, policy states, and I have photos with the date to back me up on that. Butler served in law enforcement for 40 years. We got a statement from Maryview Hospital just a few minutes ago. It read, our hearts go out to families facing the loss of a loved one. We welcome feedback on how we can clarify information on our website to help families understand our visitation policies during the COVID-19 pandemic. Regina Mobley, telling your side.